What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls video. Today, we're going to see if I am able to solve the rest of Gravity Falls before everything else gets revealed to me. I am at a point where I have watched Not What He Seems, which is season 2, episode 11. We have 9 or 10 episodes left, and I don't think we're going to be doing any more analysis videos. Um, in between episodes, so it's this is literally going to be the last time I think that I'm going to theorize properly. We're going to finish the series and then we're going to bring it all together at the end and see what I missed and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for this because we are on the home stretch, I think. We're on the home stretch and we just got a big reveal, but it hasn't revealed everything, of course. It has given us a little something. And now I need to try to piece the story together. So, before we do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve all of the codes that we missed. And then we're going to do some funky stuff with Photoshop and stuff to try and piece together that, that puzzle. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then, on the latter half of this video, we're going to be talking about Stan, his brother, Bill Cipher, the author of the journals, everything that we need to theorize about for the end of the series, and I'm so excited to get into that. But as I have been saying, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Uh, I, I want to try to solve these the, the rest of these codes first. And the first code that we haven't uh, found yet, or well, we haven't found the codes for 9, 10, and 11, essentially. When we did the reaction to those those episodes, um, I couldn't find the key anywhere for any three of these episodes. Now I have a little bit of insight as to where they actually are. Um, and by the sounds of it, it's ridiculous. But I know for a fact by people telling me and doing research consensually, by the way, I like people haven't spoiled it for me. I've, I've asked for it. But I think it's in the scene where Mabel is running here. Okay. So there's going to be a key here somewhere and we're going to try to find it. That's all that I know. I know that it's in this scene. So let's have a look, a closer look. Because the, the thing about finding a key is like the episodes are like 20 minutes long, right? Um, and so if I'm doing it frame by frame, it's really, it's going to be hard to kind of see the things. Um, I see a T here, or like spray bottles, T, is that an I? Oh wait, okay, let me move this thing. Um, let me move my face cam. I see an I up here, so there's a T, an I, an N, tin, P, T, P, P. Okay, that's definitely something. We're getting somewhere with that, right? Is this the end of the... There's another P. There's another P right at the end. Okay. So, wait. <laughs> what did that give me? Uh, okay. So, let's, let's start from the start. It seems to be... Like, this is ridiculous, by the way. Oh, wait! Okay, there's a key here. There's a key up here. I, I'm seeing some more letters. Okay, fine. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is so ridiculous that I have to do this to find the key. So, first thing, key up there. Then we have go, we have G and O. So G, O, there seems to be an A here. So G, O, A, T that we found before. So goat, 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 I, N, Goat in, goat in, oh, there's a D, there's a D, goat in D, P, goat in D, P, okay, I need to write this down, goat in D, P, goat in D, P, uh, what's next, because there was another P at the end, wasn't there, is that a G, I have to move my face cam again, I think that's a G right there. I'm going to say it's a G. So we've got goat in 
DPG. Goten DGP. And then there's another P here, isn't there? Yeah, there's another P. What the hell? What is this? And then I don't think there's... I, I think it's all in that one one take scene. So you got Goat in DPGP. <laughs> sure, it, it has to make a sentence or a word or something. It's not going to be a, a random string of letters. So let's, let's try again. We're going to try our best here to catch everything. Um... Again, this is ridiculous. If you, if you imagined, like, I, I would not have been able to find this by myself. Um, so, G-O-A. I'm happy with goat. I'm happy with goat. I think goat is correct. So, goat. Is that a G there? That's an I. No, is that an A? I mean, if it, it okay, if it was an A, that would make sense because it's not goat in D P G P. It's goat and something. So that that's probably an A, but that's like that's that's quite hard because like that's because all of these. Uh, actually, I'm kind of wrong. I was going to say all of these are like line art. Um, like how you would write on paper, but this is like bubble writing. But I guess it's fine. Yeah, that that would make sense. So it's goat and so a n. Sorry, this is taking so long. Goat and p. Goat is it goat and pig? Goat and pig, like the end of the episode. I think it's goat and pig. But then there's a p at the end. Goat and p. There's my eye. Yeah. Okay, that... Okay, first of all, that is ridiculous. How am I supposed to see that and think I? Okay. So it's it's goat and pig. P-I-G. But then I'm confused because there is this P at the end. Does that P just not matter? Is that a mistake? Goat and pig P. We're going to try goat and pig. Because if you, oh, sorry, if you recall at the end of the episode, yeah, Goat and Pig got married. Um, Mabel married them. So I'm thinking it's Goat and Pig, and and the end of the ending song is like Golden Pig, something like that. I don't know. Um, okay, fine. Let's try Goat and Pig. Oh, it's it's good to note that even if it's not, like e even if that was a P at the end of the key. So if it was actually goat and pig P, it doesn't actually matter because this is an instance, a rare instance, where the cipher text is actually longer, is actually shorter than the key. So we're not actually gonna use all of the letters of the key. So O Sam K B G S. Let's try that. O O Sam K V G S. And then we have goat and pig. I eat kid. <laughs> uh, I must have gone wrong somewhere there. Oh, I did a double P. Well, how did I do that? Okay. Yeah. So it's... So... Wait. Goat and pig. Wait. I eat kid. Did I do something wrong? But it's I eat kids, I think. I think it's IE Kids. O Sam K V G S. O Sam K V G S. Oh well, I don't know where I went wrong there, but it's I Eat Kids, which is a reference to the hot air balloon that Grand Uncle Stan made. There we go. It was supposed to say I Heart Kids, I think. Um, but what the H? It fell off. The the H fell off, and now it's I Eat Kids. So. That's a cool reference. That's a nice one. That was not worth the effort. <laughs> not worth the effort at all, but still pretty cool. Okay, so what I've been told is it is on the outside of Northwest Mansion. So it's here, I think. And I, I don't think it's NW. I think that would be too obvious. Um, what the hell? 
I, I've been told it, I think it's this, I think I've been told it's this screen, um, there it is, I, I will say these are very creative, for me as an individual to try to find these, ridiculous, I would not in a million years find that if I went through that episode frame by frame about 10 times, I wouldn't find it. But now I've been told that it's on this kind of screenshot. Yeah, it's right there. It's key. Ah, oh, it's it's even it's hard actually to read when you see it. Key C U R S E D Cursed. Right? It's it's every other window. Oh, that's that's tough, man. That's so tough. Wow, okay, so the key is cursed, so let's solve this one. Oh man, this is long, okay. Well, I'll see you in a bit. This is definitely our longest visionaire that we've ever had. Uh, it doesn't even fit, I don't think. So IFB, what's IFB here? Oh no, it's, it is long enough, uh, but we need cursed here. So that's, that has worked. Oh, it, it's worked, okay. So next up on, what? <laughs> uh, okay, let me, let me try, let me actually do this properly. So we need to make sure that it's the same, like the same length word. So next up, on and then it's a six letter word so on u t b a h c u t b a h c next up on at back what does that even mean i think i've done it wrong how have i done it wrong l l f d j w at back. Huh. These are getting really hard. Um, oh, we have the word aliens there, and then we've got a five letter word. Write the. Okay, write the constitution. Constitution. Crawdads? Is that a word? <laughs> In, oh my god, this is hard. This is hard. So we got two, six, three, two, six, three, seven, three, four. Two, six, three, seven, three, four. Two, six, three, seven, three, four. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much there. So we've got next up on at back eyed, aliens write the constitution crawdads in tiaras and Florida the show. What the hell does any of that mean? Oh my God. Oh, I'm so stupid, I think. What does that mean? Ah, uh, no, hang on. So first of all, we need some, um, we need some punctuation in this. So here's that, and then there's a question after constitution, and then Florida, the show, and TRs. Okay, but also, I think I've copied this down wrong. I think that's a U instead of a V. Yeah, so it would be did, okay. So that makes a little bit more sense. So next up on Art Back, did aliens write the constitution? Crawdads and tiaras and Florida the show. Don't know what that means. What is Art Back? Okay, my theory is that it is, I think I saw it. I think it's the TV channel, which would make sense obviously. So we have ghost harassers. <laughs> and then Art Back, there we go. Used to be about history channel. 
So next up on this history channel, did aliens write the constitution, crawdads and tiaras, and Florida the show. Okay, fine. That was so overly complicated. I hate it. <laughs> no, I quite like it when it's like that, um, and you have to like figure it out, but man, that took way longer than I thought it would. Okay, so next up is not what he seems key, if that's even a visionaire at this point. So what I've been told about this episode is that we were almost on it. And I think that it's on this cork board behind Stan in the office. This episode was so freaking good. Every time I see it, I tear up a little bit because it's so tense all the way through. I was just like, my, my bones were so tense the entire way through the reaction. Um, there's no like good shot of the cork board. I think maybe there could be here. Uh, is it there? See, the thing is, a lot of the time Stan is covering up the board. So there could actually be something behind him that I'm missing because he is stood in front of it. So I'm hoping at some point uh, there's like a, a frame where he like moves out the way or something because I don't, I don't think it's visible here. Oh, there it is. That's not too bad, actually. I'm fine with that one. I'm, I'm just fine with it. Uh, there's a key up here and Stanley Mobile, I think, is probably going to be the thing. Uh, okay, so we copy this into our browser. Uh, here we go. Booyah. Lars of the Dirty Gabazavutaba. Okay, that was awful. Um, oops, I accidentally messed this up. Let me just drag this formula down. Okay, so the key is Stanley Mobile. So it's just Stanley Mobile without the vowels. Uh, Stanley Mobile. Okay. And then the code is La Zepperversity. W E U P J R G H G Z T. The ori the orig the original mystery twins. The original mystery twins. The original mystery twins. Oh, that's interesting. The original mystery twins. Well, that that's very interesting, especially considering what's on the screen at this current time. The original mystery twins. So these two are the original mystery twins. So what did they... I, ha I have a feeling, and we're going to talk a little bit more about theories to do with these guys later. But I have a feeling there's some sort of parallel going on with like Dipper and Mabel are almost what Stan used to be with his brother. But then his brother went missing or something. And then they were split apart. Um, but it, it kind of seems that way, right? Maybe that's why Grunkle Stan actually loves Dipper and Mabel like that, because Dipper and Mabel are twins, just like how he is a twin, uh, and he misses that sort of aspect, that, that kind of family dynamic, almost. Um, so it could, hmm. We'll talk about that more later, I think. Um, but there you go. That's all of the ciphers solved at the end of the episode. Yes, no more visionaires. Uh, at least until next reaction, probably. But, um, okay, fine. Now let's work on these images, right? So this puzzle at the end. Um, we get one of these every episode. And just like the Dipper shorts... We are going to be piecing these together to make a bigger picture. So, let's open Photoshop finally. I'm I'm sure some of you are really happy to hear that I'm finally opening Photoshop and doing this in Photoshop rather than uh, on Google Sheets. But there you go. Uh, let's open Photoshop and try and piece this together. Okay, so how large do we want this to be? So, 
here's my thoughts, right? We think that it's probably going to be three across. So there's going to be a left image, a center image, and a right image. And then I would say like three times, three times, three times seven is 21, three times six is 18. Let's do three times seven is 21. So let's assume that we're gonna, at the end, have 21 frames that are in a three by seven grid. So then let's say that each of those images was uh, 120 by seven, what, 1280 by 720. So then we're gonna have 120 times three, which is 3740. 3740, I think. Um, is that right? Uh, I, I was confident with it, but I, I think it's actually 3840. Um, 1280 and then 720 times seven is 4900. Uh, 5000. 40 I think something like that that's a good start at least I think is that right I don't know I don't freaking know oh well okay so let's get all of the screenshots from the end of the episodes so episode one starts out with this corner piece okay so let's put this into here oh my gosh it is so much easier <laughs> so we have this corner piece so top left right here is the skull that is 100% correct. Um, there is no way it's anything else other than that. So, happy days. Let's go on to episode 2, where we have this symbol. Uh, it's almost there. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Okay, here we go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Take a screenshot of that, and then import it into Photoshop. And then this is the top left. And I have clearly done my maths wrong. Or I've just... All the screenshots are just bigger than I thought. But we can always just... Um, what can we do? We can um, image canvas size. And make it just, I don't know, 4 to 40 or something. And then we can make it bigger. Yay! This is what I love doing, photoshopping, figuring things out with Photoshop. Great. So there you go. Those two are in the correct position. We can actually lock those layers if we want to, because uh, they are not changing. They are not changing from that position. That That is definitely correct. Okay, so here's the interesting part, right? By episode number five, this is episode number five, we have all of the corners. Okay, so episode three is bottom left, episode five is bottom right. So again, that is, those four are the corner pieces. Now we're gonna get like side pieces and that's gonna be where it's, it gets hard. Like, I don't know where this sock goes. Um, I would assume it is gonna be in the middle because there seems to be a triangle here. It seems to be making a triangle shape. So I'm thinking like my, my initial thought with this, and I could be completely wrong, and don't let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but I'm thinking we're gonna have like a triangle here or something. Well, what if we have like, what if we have the portal? Uh, isn't it like this or something? I don't, I don't remember what the portal looks like. It's like that or something. That looks like a fidget spinner. <laughs> Uh, but then what if we have, and I'm going to do this in a different colour, what if we, this was my theory last time, right? What if we have Stanley here with his cool shades and his fez? What if we have Stanley there and then on the bottom we have Mr. Bookman? I'm going to draw the hand. Okay, that's actually quite a good hand. But like, what if it's like this, where it's it's like a playing card, where they have Stan on the top and then real Stan on the bottom. I don't know his name, um, but it's it's. I think it probably could be that. Yeah. So, so here you can definitely see that this is correct. This one definitely goes on top of this one because you can see that the triangle connects. Isn't that just insane? That's so cool. 
So that's definitely correct. Those two slot together nicely. These two are not correct because first of all, there's no part of the triangle here, but also this doesn't match up with that. Like I, th I think it's gonna be symmetrical actually. Um, so I think that this is probably gonna go down here instead. Um, it's probably actually gonna go one under that because this doesn't connect here. Uh, but this is really, this is so much fun to try and figure out. I'm loving it. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of them. Ah, so this is the one. This is the one, which is the opposite of that one. And you can see again, the triangle is here. So these four are correct. I have a feeling there's probably gonna be one more in between. Uh, this is... This is so cool, man. I'm loving it. Okay, and then the other two. So if I recall, the other two are the top and bottom frames. So that's where we're gonna start to understand what's going on here. Um, so we have the, the Fez. Okay, take a screenshot of that, put it down here. So this goes at the top. And by the way, I did the maths wrong because uh, these are not 1280 across. These are 1440 across. Uh, so I could probably change it to actually get the correct size. Um, canvas size. So 1440 times 3 is going to be... Um, okay, 2842. Uh, 4320. 4320, I think is correct um so now i have to move all of these ah oh! okay i've simplified all of this and i think i've got the correct size of the image this is going to be so cool when it comes together uh, i've done some simplifying like these are all merged together because we know that those two pieces connect and then these are all merged together and so are the bottom ones etc okay so this is the current state of what we have the only one that i am not sure about right now is this one and i think it's probably going to go there um and that looks right to me that absolutely looks right um so what we're going to get and sorry for my painful drawing again but we're gonna get we're gonna get this to go down and then it's gonna come out here he's got some hair or something and then oh my god this is this is supposed to be grunkle stan uh my apologies but there you go ditto stan there you go and then i think this at the top i think this is a tuft of hair so it could go like this or something right and then we've got some more tufts here and then this is going to be like this and then there we go another ditto so i think that that's my prediction for what we're gonna see that's actually i i'm i'm pretty on board with this i i think that this is this is correct <laughs> i think we're good i think we're good with this uh i i've recognized this down here as a tuft of hair and i think i now know exactly what this is going to make this is really exciting i'm so excited to see what the rest of the frames are. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We got 10 frames left. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we should see 10 more frames, I think. Oh my gosh. Wow. The creators of the show are, it's, it's in the name. They are so creative. Um, wow. I'm, I'm loving these puzzles. Um, really, really fun. Okay. So now we're at a point where I think we're gonna do a little bit of theorizing. So in episode number one of the entire series of Gravity Falls, we saw that first frame, right? We saw that image of Bill Cipher in the middle with an eye. Wait, there you go, there's Bill Cipher. Woo! I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but Bill, Bill Cipher, the, the pyramid eye guy, uh, we saw him in the center of the wheel and that wheel had loads of symbols on it. Once again, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so that you're not confused at all. So it's it's this frame. Um, sorry, this one seems to be lower quality. I mean, it comes from not what he seems, but whatever. Uh, this is Bill Cipher in the middle. 
and we theorize that Bill Cipher is in the center because he is like this god. He, he's like the god of everything around him. He is at the center of Gravity Falls. He is the one that is creating all of these weird mystical things that are happening in Gravity Falls. Fine. Then we learned in Dreamscaperers, episode 19 of season 1, that these all represent characters. We, we theorized about that before, but then we knew from that point that these are 100% characters. And in that episode, Bill Cipher called Mabel Shooting Star, and, she, and he called Dipper Pine Tree. So... We, we know that the rest are, have to be different characters, right? Uh, they can't be the same character or whatever. So let's go through each character, talk about where they are at this point, talk about their history and their backstory and what they mean to the series and, and sort of any theories that we may have about them at this point. The first one is the question mark. So that is, of course, Seuss. Not much to really talk about with Seuss, I don't think. I think he is kind of there for comic relief, mainly. Um, but we did have, in Blendin's game, episode 8 of season 2, we did have that tragic backstory of Seuss um, about his, his father. So, I, I guess he has some sad backstory um, that shows, like, who... That's, that's who he is. Um, it's just the way... Um, he was brought up and unfortunately he didn't have a father growing up uh, and so that's the reason for some of the things that he does but that's that suits I think I, I, I don't think there's any deeper mystery with Seuss or anything I don't think he's gonna be th the main character of the rest of the series like I think he is he is and always was a side character unfortunately but he is a star of the show still because he is so freaking funny are we blanching? Go we blanching. I live up being a mansion. <laughs> um, I need to get myself a, a question mark top at some point. Uh, I don't know what I'm cosplaying as for Halloween. I would love you guys in the comments to let me know what I should do. Um, I, I think at this point I'm probably going to end up doing Stan's brother because I think people have been saying in the comments that um, I was dressed up as him once <laughs> and I didn't realise it. Um, so there you go. So the second person uh, is to do with ice and we theorized that this was Wendy and here is why. First thing to note is nowhere else here is a symbol that represents Wendy but Wendy is a pretty major character like if we've got Seuss up here surely we have to have Wendy. So in episode number five this is the first episode where we kind of go out with Wendy in a way. Uh, we go out with Wendy and all of her friends, we get, uh, we, we meet up with Robbie, uh, we meet Robbie. And in this episode, which again, is a lot about Wendy, we get this scene, right? And this, this is ice. As you can see, it's like an ice fridge or whatever, freezer, refrigerator. And this is, why did we have ice? I think it was for Wendy. Uh, this frame is so funny, um, and this frame is horrifying. Uh, but this this ice could represent Wendy. But there's also another one. Oh, the other thing I guess is that there is like a cool box, uh, an ice box, on top of the roof um, where where Wendy resides a lot of the time. So that's also good to note. But if we look at the Time Traveler's Pig episode, in this episode we have ice, the same ice, by the way, and. Dipper is using it to for for Wendy's black eye and that kind of shows like the inevitability of um, of this event um, in time. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say that, but uh, so we, we have two instances where ice is related to Wendy. I think it's a bit of a weird one if that is what it is, but uh, it works. I mean, we, we, we discovered it. We, we realized that Ice is related to Wendy in some way. Maybe there's some deeper backstory there. Don't think there will be, but I mean, Wendy, again, seems like kind of just a cool character that's like a side character that's um, kind of the head of some episodes, but then not in others. Like, in Not What He Seems... Wendy was just not even really there. She was like, do, 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 going to work. Never mind. 
Um, so there you go. So, the next character is Grunkle Stan. This is the symbol on the top of his fez. Now, this is the point where I'm like, what should I, what should I talk about with Grunkle Stan? Because there's so much to talk about. So, in this very episode, normally seems we find out that Grunkle Stan... <sighs> he's not Grunkle Stan. He has all of these fake IDs. And this is the point where we're going to do some pretty major theorizing, I think. We have Andrew 8 Bull Alcatraz, um, Hall Forrester. I'm just wondering, could there be some codes here? I think we'll probably go through that during our big season two lore hunt. I think we'll probably try some, some more kind of research deeper into the episodes at that point. I don't want to do that right now because otherwise this video is going to be too long. We have Hal Forrester uh, from Idaho. And then Andrew Eightball Alcatraz is from Mississippi. Um, so we have all of these fake IDs, uh, passports, driving licenses, ID cards. And then the, the, the thing that I'm really interested in, Stetson Pinefield. Wow. Uh, it looks like there's some dates there as well. And, and these numbers, like, I, I feel like that, that could be, like, the blind clue that we got in Season 1. Um, this is the most interesting part of this entire episode, I think. Or, well, okay, apart from, like, Stan's brother going through the portal, whatever. Stan Pine's dead. So, what that's telling me right now is that Grunkle Stan, his real name is not Stan Pines. Stan Pines is he, he's taken the name off of somebody else who has recently died and you'll see why i put that in quotation marks later um a foul play suspected in pine's death the flaming wreckage of a wrecked car was found in a ditch four miles from highway 618 at 6 a.m monday morning the cut breaks and odd location of the car suggest that this was no accident says a rookie cop mighty suspicious mighty suspicious in other news leg warmers are the rage this week and we predict the style will go on forever fine so this is really interesting and the reason i say that is because we know this person as stan pines but now we're we, we're being told that stan pines is dead so who really is this man that is claiming to be grunkle stan we have absolutely no idea but what's more important about who the hell is grunkle stan actually my bigger question actually is who is Stan Pines? Because he is important enough for Grunkle Stan to use his name. And actually, I'm going to get into it right now, into my theory, and I genuinely don't have a clue about any of this. This is random theorizing uh, based off of these pieces of evidence that I'm showing you, is that I think Stan Pines is actually Grunkle Stan's brother. This is this is really hard to talk about because I, I, I'm trying to say Grunkle Stan when I mean Grunkle Stan, but Stan Pines, I think, is Grunkle Stan's brother. Um, so, Grunkle Stan has a brother named Stan Pines. Stan Pines was declared, reported, dead one day, and then Grunkle Stan took Stan Pines' name for whatever reason. But I don't think Stan Pines actually died. Well, he didn't if he is his brother because we now see his brother. I think his brother was lost, well, went, went missing somewhere. And I think that Grunkle Stan knew exactly what happened. He is now in like this alternate dimension. And this was back in like 1982 um, when, well, yeah. But this is back in 1982 where like Stan Pines is in a different dimension or whatever. Grunkle Stan knows and that and, and from that point he tries to build the portal. He tries to find the journals. He tries to find the uh, sorry. He tries to find the journals. He tries to build the portal and he tries to activate the portal to bring his brother back or something like that. Um, this is so hard to explain. Um, but I, I think that that's that could be accurate. I think that it would be a really cool twist if Stan wasn't Stan, but Stan's brother was Stan. It's it's really confusing, but it works narratively, I think. 
Um, so then you have the question of like, what? <sighs> because it seems like Stan, Grunkle Stan, it seems like maybe the mystery shack was never his. Or maybe it was l like they were saying with like the, the mystery twins or whatever. Maybe the mystery shack was Grunkle Stan's and Stan Pine's. But then Stan Pines went missing, and so it was handed down to Grunkle Stan. But then that's when it kind of went to shit. <laughs> because the, the, the Mystery Shack probably isn't as good nowadays as it was back when Stan Pines was alive. I think Stan Pines, as the author of the journal, I think he knew about all like the cryptids and the mysteries of Gravity Falls, and he explored them and he wrote about them. And the Mystery Shack. That, that probably made the Mystery Shack thrive. Um, it, it probably brought tourists in to see the cryptids and stuff like that. But then ever since he went missing, I don't know, maybe they got released it back into the wild or something. And then the Mystery Shack isn't as good as, of a business anymore. And now Grunkle Stan has like a rock that looks like a face. Uh, that's actually a metaphor. Um, still can't tell if it's a rock or a face, to be honest. I think, and if we're talking about parallels again, we have one child here who I believe to be the real Stan Pine, Stan's brother. Um, he has a pencil behind his ear and he has a notepad or like a journal in, in his back pocket. So that's to me telling me that like he is, he is the dipper of the twins. And then on the right we have Grunkle Stan, I would assume, who is like the Mabel of Dipper and Mabel. Um, so then we, we kind of have that narrative parallel where like Imagine Dipper and Mabel own the Mystery Shack, and then Dipper goes missing. What would Mabel do to the Mystery Shack? She would, she would put glitter all over the walls, and she would pretend that there are unicorns and stuff like that. So, I think that it's it, it's it is a parallel almost. I think that the Stan Pines, Grandpa Stan's brother, that has just come through the portal. I think that he is like the Dipper of the twins. Uh, and therefore he has like he's the author of the books etc um right so that was a lot of talking uh i i want to get back to the screen um and we'll talk a little bit more in a second about stan's brother and all of the foreshadowing with that because i think the foreshadowing is the most intriguing part of this show because i reckon there were i i think this this new revelation recontextualizes a lot of the previous episodes, and I'll go through that in a second. Here we have Dipper Pines. Um, yeah, <laughs> we know who Dipper is. And then here we have Gideon. It is interesting we have seen Gideon in a single frame so far this series. I wonder if... I wonder. I, I, I wonder if he's going to come back at all. Um, as I said in a previous episode, I think, season one, it seemed like Gideon was the villain. Season two, it seems like it's probably going to be Bill Cipher, uh, or at least like Bill Cipher more directly, because uh, I think season one, it was more like Bill Cipher through Gideon, or like G Gideon was using Bill Cipher, but it was still like Gideon as the villain. So I think that we're going to see Bill Cipher come up soon, and I don't think we're going to see much of Gideon anymore. Um, which is a shame because I think he was uh, quite a well fleshed out character, and he was he was quite scary at some times, and his voice was so annoying. Um, it, it, it's just like the fact that I I hated him so much. I hated his guts. Uh, so they they did the characterization of Gideon really well. Um, so then this is where I'm confused, right? And we've talked about this. This is the six six fingered hand. Uh, so this is clearly the author of the journals. But then up here we have the glasses, which I would say represent Stan Pine. So like, why are there now two Stan Pines? Um, weird. But we we know one hundred percent that this is the author of the journals. So there you go, author of the journals, Stan's brother that's just come through the portal. This is the most confusing one, the llama. Who the hell is the llama? Who? <laughs> uh, maybe we maybe we'll get some more context behind that uh, later on in the in the season. But like, it's quite late to be introducing 
new characters and stuff. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe this could be, um, what's her name, Pacifica. It could be Pacifica. I think Pacifica is pr a pretty major character. And then we have Mabel, fine. Uh, Robbie, so Robbie is the odd one out here. <laughs> the comments are going to laugh at me hysterically if this is wrong. Uh, and that's that's completely fine because I love theorizing and I love um, coming out with some really strange theories. So I am still kind of convinced that Robbie is a zombie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm not sorry, actually. Um, so here's the reasoning why I think Robbie's a zombie. Literally, episode number one, Tourist Trapped. We see normal man, uh, Norman, and he is suspected by Dipper to be this, a zombie, the the undead. I think it's I think it actually says in the journal, the undead. Here we go. He is suspected to be the undead. So what has that done? That has introduced the fact that there could be a zombie. In Gravity Falls. Well, let's introduce the fact that there, there is a zombie in Gravity Falls because it was written about. The undead creature number six. So we haven't seen this guy unless it's like the zombie apocalypse that we saw in episode... Oh, actually it is, isn't it? I think it might be. Yeah, okay, so it was, if it was referenced again in episode one of season two. But either way, either way, this this creature exists in Gravity Falls. This is a zombie. And it, it was very clearly shown in, in season one, episode one, in the first ever episode, that there could be a man that is actually a zombie. It, it's like a cover up for a zombie. Um, and I still think it could be Robbie. Um, Robbie, his symbol on his jacket or whatever is a heart with a cross through it. And then let's go to the Love God episode. The Love God episode where he is literally in a, a, a grave. <laughs> in a grave. And then here, like, in his room, there are, there's like a lot of imagery here. Uh, and also, um, we've talked about it a few times, in the car of Thompson, I think it is. In Thompson's car, you can clearly see the word zombies or something. Um, are on the on the roof, and and he sleeps in a coffin or something like that. This this house is crazy. This house is crazy. But either way, I think Robbie could be a zombie. Think about it this way as well. He was in a tombstone, or not not a tombstone, but a, a grave. And then this is this is the same graveyard as well. By the way, this is the same graveyard. This is a grave. I don't know why there's an open grave, by the way, but there you go. Um, so it's kind of like a parallel there. Do I think? Do I really think Robbie is a zombie? I think it's probably a crackpot theory. I think. I think I. I don't know if it's going that direction. Unfortunately, I, I have to admit. But that would have been really cool to see. I think. Oh well. Um, so do I think there's more to Robbie? I actually think we might have seen the end of zom of of zombie, of Robbie. I think now we know he's happy with uh, Tambri, and now we know from like that little wink at the end of the Love God episode. Oh, I don't have it up anymore. Now we know from the end of that Love, Love God episode that he and Wendy are on the same page. They're on um, good terms, and so fantastic that that narrative plot line that's over essentially um so do we really need robbie anymore i don't i don't think he's going to appear at all um but like at the same time bill is always watching these it seems like all of them are going to come together at some point so i do think i do think at the end of the, at the at the end of the season we are going to be told who each of these are and they're going to come together to defeat Bill Cipher or something like that. 
Uh, I think we've theorized about that for a long time, but I thought it would happen earlier than 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 this. Um, so Gideon is probably going to come back. Robbie is going to probably come back. It, again, like it's the llama and the glasses, which are the most confusing at this point, because the glasses could be Grunkle Stan, but Grunkle Stan's over here. The glasses could be Stan Pines, but Stan Pines is down here. So are there three stands? <laughs> I don't know. But what I want to do really quick, and this is going to be the last thing I do, I think, in today's video, is I want to go back through some of the episodes and just talk about some of the foreshadowing for this, because I think this was one of the biggest points for me saying, like, there could be two stands. But there were also a few other things. And the biggest thing right now that I am going to point out is episode three, Headhunters. Bro, look at this. Look at this shot. <laughs> Grunkle Stan is so happy that Mabel has made a wax Grunkle Stan and he, I, I think I said in that video when I reacted to it, that like Grunkle Stan cares more about this wax statue than literally any other human being. So it's clear from this, and like, what am I taking away from this? I'm taking away that he is doing all of this for his family, like he said in Not What He Seems. Um, what did he say? He was like, um, you gotta believe me, everything that I do, all that I've worked for, it's all been for this family. And I think he is genuinely telling the truth there. It's it's really hard to believe him at this point because he has lied about so much. Like, I'm innocent. No, he, he just completely wasn't. He is not what he seems. It, it's just, it's hard to believe him. But I do genuinely think that everything that he's done up to this point, building the portal and keeping it from everybody, it was to bring back his brother and that's because he cares really like a, a lot about his uh, his, his lost brother um, so to have him back in this episode it was almost like foreshadowing that like he, he he cares so much and like he even he even tries to like bury him and stuff like it's oh, it's so good I wonder if there's foreshadowing in like car accident I don't know. While I'm here, I just want to go through this. Blending at some point here has a few costume changes. Here we go. So, and we know what all of these are now, I think. So this is Northwest Mansion that we see in two episodes time from here. And then this is the police station, which we see in three episodes from here. Not what he seems. And then, it goes to a beach, which I'm assuming is going to be four episodes. I, I think it's going to be a sequence. It's going to be two episodes from this episode, three episodes, four episodes. So I'm assuming that the beach at the end of Not What He Seems. Uh, where is it? This is Headhunters still. Um, uh, I'm assuming this beach has a lot more meaning than we realize. Um... I think this is probably going to be the origin. I think next episode is probably going to be... It's probably going to be the backstory of Stan and Stan. <laughs> of the two Stans. Um, I, I think that it could be the kind of foreshadowing. or not foreshadowing. It could be the, the backstory behind these two characters. Um, why it's so tragic and why, why Grandpa Stan cares so much about his twin brother. And... Now they're reunited, what's going to happen? Um, I also... I, I cannot place it. I cannot place it. I, I can't get it from my head, but I recognise this duck. <laughs> I freaking recognise this duck. I feel like we've seen something reminiscent of this before. And... Oh my god. What if... Wait, there's no way. It would be so good if this was true. Okay, I don't think it is. I, I just remember at the beginning of the first series, there was a father here and he had two kids that were running around. And, ah, uh, that does kind of... No, 
Well, uh, <laughs> kinda. Uh, it would have been really funny if this was a flashback and this was Stan, the, the uh, Stan and Grunkle Stan. It, it would have been really funny. Um, but I recognize, I recognize the duck and the swing set from somewhere and I just don't remember where and it's gonna annoy me a lot. I'm actually, I'm gonna quickly have a look through some of these episodes to try and uh, find it. By the way, one thing I noticed since watching Not What He Seems is that the rock face, the face that looks like a rock or the rock that looks like a face, um, the metaphor, it was actually in episode one and they talked about it in episode one. This thing, there you go. He's like, so here is a rock that looks like a face. Any questions? Uh, is it a rock? No, it's a rock that looks like a face. Ah, so is it a face? No, it's it's a rock that looks like a face or something like that. I don't, I don't I can't remember, but those voices were also pretty terrible. Um, okay, I'm gonna have a quick look through some of the ep these episodes just to check uh, that I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I I now have two final things that I want to go through uh, or just talk about real quick. Okay, I'm, the hat's going off, whatever. Um, I think it's interesting and something I didn't point out just now, but now something that's clicked for me is this code um, for Not What He Seems was the original mystery twins. The key word here is original. You know what I was saying about the parallel between Stan and Grunkle Stan and Dipper and Mabel? And the fact that they are almost like like parallels of each other, like Grunkle Stan is almost Mabel and uh, Stan Pines is Dipper. The fact that it says original here implies that there is a new set of mystery twins. And the fact that we have only one other set of twins in the entire series, Dipper and Mabel, I, I think it's referring to that. I think it's saying that the current mystery twins are different from Mabel, but the original ones were Stan Pines and Stan, um, Gunkle Stan. So, uh, all of these, all of this Stan talk, man, it's, it's, it's so hard to get through. But believe it or not, the final episode I want to talk about is Dreamscapers. Because we haven't gone back to this episode in a while, and it was really important. I seem to remember a few things. And one of them was like, when 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 this guy, when Gideon said, Stan Pines to Bill Cipher, Bill Cipher was like, Stan Pines, I recognize that name or something like that. Um, it's not that, oh, it was before this. I know a lot of things. I wonder if there's any more context to any of those things. Um, I guess also, I guess also we will see uh, in the season two law hunt. And oh my god, there was oh I missed I forgot the biggest piece of evidence for the two brothers. It's in the time travelers pig episode where we literally see I think we see Stan's brother. And I could be completely wrong about this, but I think it was like a snowy yeah snowy cabin. Could that be him? Could that be the real Stan Pines in the mystery shack? His original mystery shack that Grunkle Stan took over. I think that's possible. I think it's possible. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, back to Dreamscapers. So here, he's like, Stan Pines. I remember that name. Uh, and then... So here's the thing, I cannot tell if that's Grunkle Stan or not, but it doesn't look like Grunkle Stan anymore. Like now it's, now this has been recontextualized, I don't think that's Grunkle Stan. Look, that, that like you cannot, you can't see a fez, you can't see Grunkle Stan's like usual clothing that he wears. So I think I'm right in saying that it's Stan Pines. We don't know what this symbol is either. I think we might get more context as to what this symbol might be. But that's interesting that those are the two things. Like when, when Gideon says Stan Pines, it doesn't come up with 
Grunkle Stan, um, it doesn't come up with like Grunkle Stan as we know him. Uh, it, it comes up with Stan Pines, which is actually a completely different character entirely. But at this point in season one, you wouldn't have known that. And that's the thing. The last thing I want to do is look in Stan's mind. Oh, oh, that's where I recognize it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I cannot believe we just found that. So I want to look in Stan's mind because, of course, in here, there are a lot of different places where like there were memories of things and etc. Uh, and and I want to see if any of this again is recontextualized now that we know that Stan has a brother. And the first thing I'm seeing straight away, and that that's insane. That is. Whoa! Wait a second. Wait. I just got the chills. I just got some big ass chills. Look at this. Is it a rock? Is it a face? It's a bloody metaphor, my friends. Look at this. Right, so swing set. Okay. Uh, this is the same exact swing set right here. Same duck, same swings. But look at the swings. One of them is perfectly intact. One of them is broken. Now we know, and now we know, and we've gone back to this episode. Now we know that Stan has a secret brother and they used to play on these swings. And one of the swings is now broken. It's a metaphor for like, one of the stands is not with us um that's really interesting oh the foreshadowing in this show is insane it's on another level i've never seen never seen this level of foreshadowing before so my question here like, it, it, the thing about foreshadowing right is foreshadowing is really hard to see as you're seeing it for the first time of course, that, I guess that's what foreshadowing is. It's like you're seeing things, but you're not fully understanding them. And so it's really hard at this point to pick up things that we're seeing in different episodes and say that could be foreshadowing for something. It's, it's great to do that because it means that you're theorizing about things. But at this point, it's really difficult to do that accurately. And so I, I look at like this bear, for example, and I think, could this be a bear that we're going to see in the next episode where it's revealed that like Grunkle Stan uh, had a bear and I don't freaking know uh, but like but at this point anything in Dreamscapers in Stan's mind could be related um, I do think it's interesting that the bear is on like a a vehicle that seems to be handcrafted and that the wheels have fallen off and stuff like that it seems like there's a lot of like dark memories here to do with Stan's brother, um, which is really, really intriguing. Wow. I think this is the perfect screen to end on, to be honest. Uh, let me cut to me. This has been an insane analysis video. Um, I know a lot of you really love these types of videos uh, in between the reactions, but this is going to be the end of that um i think forever <laughs> um it is it's quite sad that the series is going to end soon and by end i mean that my reactions to gravity falls are going to be finalized like that it's that's going to be it um and i'm trying to drag it out a little bit but i i'm, I'm obviously trying to give you regular episodes uh, but it is really sad because I've really genuinely enjoyed watching all of these episodes and going through and, and analyzing things like this and seeing the foreshadowing and seeing the the hidden blend-ins and government agents in the backgrounds. I think it's so cool that a show is able to do that. And the fact that we, we can probably rewatch this show and see a million different things now that it's all been recontextualized, like that's so cool. And I love when shows do that. I think that Gravity Falls is really the leading show to do that. I, I've never seen it anywhere else before. Um, cool. So that is 
my kind of time for like theorizing um what do i think is going to happen uh by the end of the series i think that bill cypher is going to come back he's going to be so evil because maybe maybe stan pines and bill cypher have some sort of history maybe they're connected in some way um and maybe they hate each other just like um going called stan and gideon hate each other again a parallel uh and we're gonna find out about like the dimension behind the portal or whatever um where stan pines has actually come from who grunkle stan actually is what his deal is and we're going to find out that bill is evil and we're going to get all of the characters together to fight bill cypher but there's going to be some sort of apocalypse coming because that portal has been opened and as grunkle stan has warned us and as um, just like Gravity Falls in general has warned us, and as Old Man McGucket has also warned us, there is an apocalypse on the horizon. So, I think that that portal, I think Dipper was kind of right for thinking we shouldn't let that portal um, open. But the portal now has opened, and I think it has opened its way. Uh, I, I think an apocalypse is coming in some way, shape or form. And by shape, I mean probably triangle, because I think Bill Cipher is coming. He's going to be evil. All of the characters are going to come together. They're going to defeat him. And that's going to be the end of Gravity Falls. That is my prediction right there. And don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, because I want to find out by myself by doing the reactions. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, <laughs> just, just to let you know as well, um, once all of these reactions are done, I am going to do the Season 2 Lore Hunt video, just like I did with Season 1. We're going to go back through all of the episodes and see what we missed. And then we're going to go through um, Journal 3 and Book of Bill and any ARGs. And I think there's a few videos that I can react to on YouTube about this real life ARG uh, that happened. Um, so I'm excited for it. We can also watch some game theory videos, which is going to be fun. Or is it film theory? I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It, this has been incredible. I will see you in my next reaction when we watch episode 12 and 13 and 14 probably. Uh, <laughs> see you then. Goodbye.